myself Pratik and in this session we are going to discuss file based system versus centralized database system. Let's start this session. There are two approaches to manage database on computers. One approach is traditional file based approach and another approach is centralized DBMS approach. In this session we are going to discuss both the approaches and compare it. Let's start this session. The first approach to manage database on computer is traditional file based approach. This is an early attempt to computerize the manual database and this process is started in 1970 when we used a programming language known as COBOL for this purpose. COBOL stand for common business oriented language. This was an early attempt to manage database on computer with the help of flat text files or CSV files. Nowadays, file handling utilities of all the programming language is for this purpose. You know that we can use file handling utility of C, C++, Java for this purpose. In this case, the data is stored in text files and we have programs to manage operations on these text files. Here you can see that the data of customer can be stored in the text file. Each field is separated from another field by tab or maybe blank space. And in some cases it may be comma separated. So we have flat text file and these files are managed by using file handling utility of programming language like C, C++ and Java. For example, this is a file based system of a banking system which have multiple application like loan processing, fixed deposit processing and transaction processing etc. These business applications used a file system and these file system further access multiple data files which contain the data of customer, customer loan, customer fixed deposit details and customer transaction details. You can see that we have here independent data files. These data files are accessed through file system for these applications. And these applications are written in some programming language like C, C++ or Java and so on. So this is the traditional example of a file based approach. And this was the earlier attempt to manage the database. The earlier attempt to manage the database with file have some limitations. And the limitations are separated and isolated data, duplication of data, data dependence, difficulty in representing data from user's view, data inflexibility and incompatible file format. We are going to discuss each of these limitations one by one. You can see that data is stored in separate independent data files. So it results into separate and isolated data. Data is not placed at a centralized location. These are separate independent files. So it results into separated and isolated data. Since data is not stored at a centralized place, so it also results into duplication of data. For example, we may contain the customer data in this file as well as this data may be present in some other file because all the files are independent to each other. So we have to store data multiple times. So it may result into duplication of data. Our application programs are directly dependent on the way in which the data is stored. For example, if the data is stored in text file by tab separation, this information should be mentioned in our application program. If the data is stored in a comma separated way, then again this information should be written in application program. Our application programs are directly dependent on the way the data is stored in these text file. This concept is called as data dependence. So file based system result into the problem of data dependence. It means application programs are dependent on the way the data is stored in these text files. In order to provide user request, we have to write the programs. So every request of data retrieval need to be addressed by some programs. So it is difficult to represent the data from user view because for every view we have to write separate program and program need to be written to address the user query. Since data is stored in separate independent file, it also result into data in flexibility and incompatible file formats. So these are the limitations of file based system 
which are addressed by the database approach and database approach is a approach in which data is stored in a single large repository of data which is simultaneously accessed by many department and user so you can clearly see that over file system we have another layer called as dbms and this dbms support a centralized database where all the data is stored at a central place where the sharing of data is possible where the joining of data is possible then this data is accessed through the file system utility of operating system then there is a layer of software called as dbms and this through this dbms all the applications are written it means that any user access this database through dbms and dbms perform all insert update delete and retrieve operation over the database which is stored in a centralized manner so database approach is a centralized approach where all the data is stored at one place this result into sharing of data this also result into reduction in the redundancy of data we can further understand this concept by considering the example of a university management system here we have a file based system where we are maintaining independent files for journal office library hostel and account office you know that journal office maintain all the information about students like roll number name class father name date of birth etc library people also need student information like roll number name class address date of birth but they also need the information about the number of books issued and fine etc so you can see that the roll number name class information is maintained by both library as well as journal office let us consider this third application hostel hostel people again need student journal information like roll number name class father name etc they also need the information about their mess bill and room number in addition to their room number and mess bill detail they are also maintaining the data about students in account office they again need the information about student like roll number name class address phone number etc and they also need information about fee installments discount balance etc so you can clearly see that the information about student like roll number name class father name this is repeated in all the applications because all these applications are independent and all application requires students general information for their day to day activity so this result into redundancy of data and in centralized system this duplication of data is reduced here you can see that in centralized or database approach the information about roll number name class father name address phone number date of birth etc about the student is stored only in journal office table while the information about roll number number of book issued and fine is stored in library library people are not storing name and class of student if they need it they will access it from journal office because it is a centralized system where the sharing of data is possible so library people will ask for this information from journal office and from journal office table they can access that information similarly in hostel we are only storing roll number room number and mess bill there is no need to store name class father name etc about the student and if we require this information at hostel it can be retrieved from journal office table and same is the case for account office we are only storing account related information in this table like roll number fee installment and we are not storing student journal information in case account office people need that information it will be accessed from journal office table so you can see that in database or centralized approach redundancy of data is reduced it is not 100% eliminated because still we are repeating the roll number in each table but we are not repeating name class father name etc so redundancy of data is reduced but it cannot be eliminated 100% because we require some column common to access or join the tables so this is the database approach and it has less redundancy of data and it is a centralized system where data sharing is possible so this is the final comparison between file based system and database management system in file based system end user access the data through application programs 
These application programs are written in some high level language like C, C++ or Java by using file handling utilities of that programming language. Then in order to access the file, request is given to operating system and operating system send this request to hard disk to retrieve that files. But in case of DBMS, we have a special layer between the operating system and application program and that layer is DBMS. And in order to access the data, we have a special interface called as SQL structured query language. And through this structured query language, we manage the data. We perform all insert, update, delete and retrieve operation through this SQL. And that SQL make the operations of management of data simple and easy. So instead of writing complex program in C and C++, we can directly use SQL to manage the database. Again, in order to access the data from hard disk, DBMS also send the request to operating system. And through operating system, the data is accessed from the hard disk. This is all about the comparison of traditional file-based system with centralized database management system. To read more on this, you can refer my book, Simplified Approach to DBMS. This book is available on Amazon. To order that book, you can follow the link given in the video description. Thanks for watching this video.